and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your most amazing host, Rebecca Felgate, and today we're talking about the top 10 freaky things that exist only in Japan. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you guys that if you aren't yet subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10, you should do it right now. If you are subscribed, then make sure you turn on that big, beautiful notification bell. Also, if you're thinking, nice shirt, Rebecca, like one, I don't blame you, but two, there's a link to where you can buy one of your very own in the description box below. Okay, so back to Japan. I am all about the weird and wonderful, and Japan is filled with it. So, what crazy things can you find there that pretty much don't exist anywhere else? Coming in at number 10, we have horse meat flavor ice cream. Right. Japan gives zero Fs about the horse meat scandal. The Japanese are not above eating horse. In fact, they embrace tasty horse so much that they've even turned horse meat into an ice cream flavor. I'm not personally sure about meat ice cream flavors as a whole. It's pretty off putting to me, but yeah, I don't know. Each their own. No judgment. Ugh. Coming in at number 9, we have toilet slippers. So, these are slippers that are solely worn in the toilet. The Japanese culture is pretty different to Western culture in many ways, including shoe etiquette. In Japanese homes, outdoor shoes are left in a special transitionary room, and indoor slippers are worn. However, the indoor slippers are completely different to the toilet slippers. So many slippers. Now, the toilet slippers are left outside of the washroom in homes. Then, household dwellers and guests alike are supposed to wear them when entering the lavatory. If you forget to take them off and walk around a Japanese home in the toilet slippers, you will be mercilessly mocked. Coming into number 8, we have expensive funky shaped melons. Oh, hi there $27,000 melon. I think for me, it better be delicious because it is more money than I have anywhere. Speciality fruit is hella expensive in Japan, with some fruits considered luxury items. Fruit farmers in Japan spend many laborious hours cultivating fruits for consumption. They aim to make things like square watermelons or aesthetically totally perfect pieces of fruit. This strawberry, for example, is the size of a tennis ball and it costs over $4,000. This bunch of bright red ruby grapes sells for 800 bucks a bunch. But in 2016, a pair of premium Hokkaido cantaloupes sold for $27,240. That for me is insane. I personally tend to buy the misshapen fruit at the grocery store because I kind of feel sorry for it. Still delicious, just much cheaper. Coming in at number 7, we have the baby mop. I guess like fair play. If honey is gonna be crawling around the floor anyway, then they may as well make themselves useful, am I right? Although a few people are kind of up in arms about it. I love the commercial for this, it is pure genius. Work that baby. Coming in at number 6, arguably this harebrained Japanese invention creates as many problems as it solves, we have the armpit fan. Thankos electronic armpit clip on cooler fan is a fan that you clip onto your shirt sleeves to cool your underarms on a hot day. It's battery operated and quiet so that nobody will hear the tiny fans at work. Pit sweat? be gone. The only problem is, is that sure, people may not hear the fans, but they are likely to see them clipped onto your apparel. Plus, they only really work on short sleeved items. Maybe just, maybe wear black instead. Okay, this is very freaky. Coming in at number 5, we have Hello Kitty contact lenses. There is something pretty sinister about these Japanese Hello Kitty contact lenses. Eyes are, well, eyes, so what is Hello Kitty doing there? These $58 lenses are very popular with teenage girls in Japan. Imagine looking at a 14 year old girl and then seeing that their eyes are pink and filled with tiny cats. Extremely disconcerting. Okay, have you ever been on the subway and thought, like, I just really need to rest my chin? No! Never, right? Nonetheless, the subway chin rest is a thing and it is here at number 4. I guess the idea is to allow you to sleep standing up on a long journey home. The problem is, is that even though it's aimed to give you a place to rest when there's no place to sit, it takes up a reasonable amount of room itself. Also, trains are jerky. Sleeping on the chin rest is all very well and good until the train gets bumpy or turns and then you're kind of on the floor with your chin rest. Also, what is the world coming to if we have to sleep? Sleep using chin rests on the subway. Bed people, go to bed. Bed, bed, bed. Bed is great. I love my bed. Rebecca Felgate. See, no more chin rests. 
freaky, but I'm actually kind of all about this. We have the lonely person's pillow at number three. Aww. If you need a hug, but there's no one to give you a cuddle, you can buy this lonely person's pillow, which, aww. It's basically a pillow in a shirt with an arm that you can put around yourself. There are some weirder and more expensive versions of these pillows that come complete with a heartbeat. That is kind of sad, but also I can see the cute side. However, the version for men is a lot freakier. Men seem to have taken to buying a pair of disembodied thighs to sleep on. Now these are called the lady leg pillow. This leggy pillow comes complete with a mini skirt in black or red, and flesh like nearly stumps to lean on. The inventor of the lady lap said, what could be better than a pack away lap to soothe those occasional bouts of homesickness? I've, I don't I don't know what to say to that. It's creepy. It's very creepy. Taking a darker turn at number two, Japan has a suicide forest. In Mount Fuji's shadow lays a dark and scary place. Okagara Forest is 13.5 square kilometers and home to a lot of sad stories, for this is what is known as Japan's suicide forest. The forest for some reason is the most popular suicide destination in the world. Some say at least 100 people a year kill themselves here, which is very freaky and very sad. Okay, bringing it back up to the freaky and kind of happy, we have the Japanese penis festival at number one. Woo! In April, Kawasaki celebrates the festival of the steel phallus. It is a celebration of the penis and fertility, during which portable penis shrines are paraded down the streets, and revelers wear pink and wave penis memorabilia, and people even light penis candles. There are also some pretty graphic penis lollipops, and there's no age restriction on consuming them. So, yeah, penis festival in Japan. Freaky and weird, but I guess I'm on board. Okay, so aside from the suicide forest, this list really makes me want to visit Japan. What do you guys think the freakiest thing on this list is? Let me know in the comments section down below. For now, I'm your most amazing host, Rebecca Felgate. I hope you like this video. If you love our channel, make sure you give it a good thumbs up, share it with a friend, and stay subscribed for more most amazing videos. <laughs>